I'm Josh Malinu. Um, I'm an editor. Um, I've just finished working on a show called Baghdad Central. Um, and before that, I did an adaptation of War of the Worlds. And um, those were my first two credits editing for TV. And prior to that, I was an assistant editor um, on, on a bunch of projects, but um, uh, probably most notably the You Were Never Really Here, the Lynn Ramsey film. I think probably the most important advice um, I would suggest to people who want to become an editor is to really have a look at, think about what specific type of editing they want to be doing. It doesn't need to be super fast, hard and fast. You can change, um, change as you progress through your career, um, but it's always good to have an idea of exactly, like if you find a particular show or style of shows and then have a look at who's been editing those and then try and figure out, you know, a, a way to contact them and to um, figure out how they did it. It's better than wasting time. For instance, if you want to um, edit documentaries, it's not going to be that useful for you to go and work in a place that edits commercials because um, uh, everything has got a slightly, um, it's got its own path to becoming an editor and they sometimes don't overlap um, so just do a lot of research into what interests you and um, and then try and find people that have done similar things really every editor the the real benefit of being an assistant editor is that it's a real chance to just absorb a lot of a great advice that otherwise there's no real kind of rule book for so every person that I've worked with I've I've taken bits from um, both in terms of how the actual, how they actually edit, you know, you, you, there's always a chance to do some editing of the of the same scenes, and then you can look how how you've done it differently to they have, um, and pick their brains about stuff. Everyone's always really receptive to that. When you're doing dailies, when the when they're actually filming on a show, um, the the assistant editor job is to prep all the footage, so you are watching all the material anyway. And if if you've got spare time, it's always good to try and try and cut some stuff in the afternoon um, and editors really like that um, it shows that you don't want to just do the technical stuff that you're really in, invested in the the kind of the project and the story and then they're far more likely to come to you um, to kind of put a scene past you and say what do you think of this or you know you feel much more part of the kind of creative team if you if you take the initiative to to kind of show people that you're you're really engaged with that um, so, yeah, every editor I've worked with, I've taken bits from shamelessly stolen kind of tricks and techniques from them. And then also I found another thing that I've really learned a lot from is this series of interviews called The Art of the Cut, um, which is this guy, an editor called Stephen Holfish, does regularly interviews a bunch of editors. And it's a, re a really great range of, like, you know, covering technical stuff, um, creative process of how different editors work, and... Um, also just kind of like how to get along with directors and producers because it's quite a solitary process editing and even as, as an assistant you're not often working in the same room as the editor so managing to kind of get some of the tricks from various people by whatever means is really a great, um, great and really useful tool to develop your own style of editing because there's no really right way of doing it, but I think every editor at some stage feels like they're doing it the wrong way. And when you when you talk to other one, other editors, you figure out, oh, actually, there's no real like hard and fast rule for this. But the more people you speak to, you can kind of take some of their ideas and throw out some of your own ideas, and you know, you, you just kind of get more of a wide variety of opinions about how to do stuff. It really helps. My career highlights so far. Um, from an assistant perspective, was definitely working on the Lynn Ramsey film um, with the editor Joe Beanie, who, uh, it was just a really great collaborate, collaborative environment. Um, you, it was just me, Lynn, and Joe, and the producer, Jim, most of the time, just kind of watching the film regularly, um, tearing things to bits, putting it back together again. Um, it really felt like you were kind of part of the team and the nice thing about films is that they afford a bit more time so that you weren't working under a constant kind of we've got to get this done um, so there was a lot more 
ability to just kind of experiment with stuff and see what stuck. Um, so that was really great, kind of six, eight months that I was doing that. And then, you know, over the last year or two, I've started editing more and more. So the first two credits of that have been, have been great. Um, it's, a, it's a very different job, really, editing to assistant editing. So it's always a bit... Um, you don't quite know whether this thing that you've been wanting for, for years and years, it finally comes to pass and it's always a bit nerve-wracking, you know, is this really what I actually wanted? But it has been a really great experience just kind of like getting to edit every day, not having to worry about the technical side of stuff so much. Um, yeah, it's been good.